Hi, it's Jez here from nigeza.co.uk, independent stamping up demonstrator here in the UK. And I'm bringing you a project today that's inspired by a swap I received. So whenever there's a, a, a new catalogue that comes out, um, as a team, we, we do swaps. So we'd put into little groups um, of five in this instance, uh, mostly five, sometimes it's six. Um, and uh, we make something using some of the new products. So these were from the annual catalogue. Um, now mostly get cards, but this was made by my good friend Karen, and she has a YouTube channel uh, called Corrie Paper Crafts. So you really want to go and check that out, and I will link to um, her uh, tutorial for for this. But she's used this. Um, is it called Whale of a Time? I know the pun the stamp set's called Whale of a Time. I can't remember the paper, but they're so cute. I love seahorses. And um and I just love that. Look, you just pull the ribbon and whoa! -ho! Can't wait. I've been dying to film this so that I can eat this Kit Kat. So I, I just think it was lovely and it's showcasing some um beautiful ribbon. I really like that. It made me think, oh I bought this one, but I thought, oh I quite like that too. So, um, so yes, so I have, I'm making these for my customer thank yous. So I've resized it for, oh, stamp set stuck there, for, for these uh, gorgeous chocolate bars. Um, these are, we get them in Aldi, they're Aldi ones, and um, they are in date. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I'm um, I've I'm be resized them so quite a bit smaller um, for for these, and so I've been making um, them um, for for my customers. Now these two um, I've used retired ribbon on um, because this customer this is her favourite colour, so um, I. Uh, had to had to do it in that and this is this customer's favorite color um so oh i put the chocolate bar in the wrong way round so let's uh rectify that it's actually peekaboo peach ribbon but i thought it was close enough i didn't have any um of that color <laughs> that, that's just it's pineapple grove uh, no not um grapefruit grove yeah grapefruit grove i didn't have any but i thought that was close enough and then i've used the current in colors on 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 this one so that's terracotta tile and um and i was experimenting with um stamping so this one was hand stamped instead of using the the dsp um just to show you an alternative there anyway so i'm making this one in purple posy um so the papers these are the six by six um papers that we do in the color families so you get if i just bring out so i've used these before so you get um, in the color, in the ink colors, because there's only five ink colors, you get four sheets um, of each. Um, you get two sheets of each of the color families that have ten colors. So they're quite lovely. So you've got the words on one side and wood grain, and you've got like this, it's like stonewashed denim, and the spots on this in all the different colors. So I do love. The pretty peacock love it love it so yeah so i got I, I always buy these because i find them really really useful i like them can't get it back in the bag now what am i like so let's get on with the measurements so it's actually don't need a lot um so i've decided um i decided to double mat my my dsp um to just to be different, and um, I'm using um, the pick a, pick, a, pick a label punch for the for the label. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by four. No, we'll start again. <laughs> We're four and a half by four and an eighth. Um, for that and then we're going to do the mats so these are three and five eighths by one and five eighths and these are three and a half by one and a half and then I've got a one inch strip 
and a three quarter inch strip here to do the, the sentiment on the top. So we need to do some scoring and it's quite quick and simple if you have the score board ready. So on, we need the stylus, it's fallen out. That was a good start, Jez, good start. So on, this is the long side, the four and a half side, we're gonna score at three eighths and two and an eighth two and a half, four and a quarter. All the measurements will of course be over on my blog, digest.co.uk. And then on this short side, we're just gonna score at three eighths. And that is it. Then we fold and burnish all of these score lines. and the one at the bottom and then I am going to stick the layers on now just because I think it's easier so I'm just going to go around this one I've got a bit of a lip on so I'm going to flatten that out must have turned the paper over whilst I was cutting. They're all right. Uh, so I'm just going to... Oh, I've got my new stamp and seal. It's this stamp and seal I'm going to show you compared to snail. So I think I mentioned before that they were bigger. So that's snail and that's stamp and seal. So they are quite a bit bigger. And I was going to compare it to the fast fuse and although it's similar at the front it's got a longer tail there and it's really I like it it's really easy to hold it feels nice in your hand um, and I have um, rheumatoid arthritis in my hand so I actually prefer bigger to hold than, than little so that's why I like fast fuse and that's got similar feel in your hand with it so yeah so I'm doing paper to cardstock so I do the only thing I find is getting the cap off is quite hard so I'm going to use it so I'm put a bit at each end and then just cut the bits in the middle stick it down get it before I used to always use tape runners, always. Oh. Have I got a bit of time? No, not really, it's stuck. <laughs> oh well, I was gonna move that a little bit. But it does, this is Stamp and Seal, not the Stamp and Seal Plus. But I don't think you need to do the tick. I'm just so used to fast views. There's no arm done, is it? Right, let's try and be a little bit careful here with this. That's better. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Mm, might have preferred a bit of wriggle, but there you go. It's just not used to using, but that was easy enough to use. But as I'm going card to card, I'm now going to and I'm going to bring in my Tombow. So stick it down. I haven't given this huge margin. Because it's a small project, I do like having a smaller... smaller bar... bar, bar, bar builder even. Um, you know, matting. I do prefer it when it's smaller. That it's not quite so... So big and then we're just going to do our little bit of snipping so this one's slightly shorter than that one so this is the one that's sticking down so we're going to take our 
little rectangle off there. There we go. Don't know what I did there. Get it off. And then we'll just snip a bit there. And then we're going to go up these straight lines. And then we'll just notch in these little bits here. And that's that. Then we're going to put a bit of glue. No, we're not. Nearly forgot this bit. So now we want to make some holes for our ribbon. And I'm using the tree hole punch, which is this is the reason for sticking this on. And there was a reason why I stuck this on first, but I just like forgot. And so I'm just eyeballing, put that straight up to the top there. Eyeballing, there's a line there. So I can see where the middle is. When I'm happy, punch, and I've got it pretty well in the middle there. I do need to use both. You're going through two lots of cardstock and some DSP. So it does need a bit of welly. Right, make sure that's straight up there in the middle. Punch. There we go. One of them I did forget and I'd assembled it and uh, so I had to use my cropper dial to get through it. So now we're ready to punch down. You could of course use a handheld punch, cropper dial, whatever you've got, but I really like that because it's just a nice shape because it's more elongated as opposed to being a circle. There we go. Push those down. I may well have put a little bit too much glue on there. So now it's oozing slightly and I'm a bit sticky. But that's fine. There we go. So now we know that that's the back. So this is the front bit that needs to be folded over last. So putting a bit of sticky on there and on those two flaps, fold them in. I like to sandwich my flaps, even though this is such a small box and you'll never notice. It's just, it's just what I do now. So there we go. That's that done. I'm going to take my bone folder, I'm going to put the flat end down there, give it a little bit of a push down so that that's that done. I am going to just put a little bit of hand sanitizer, take away the stick. I've got a tiny little bit left. I haven't tried actually to see if we can buy it anymore, but the shelves were empty of this not so long ago. But I have no idea because I don't go shopping. So uh, I've been staying in, although I did the other day. We were out for a walk and we were right by Big Tesco's, which is never normally empty, uh, normally full. So we wanted something. So I said, oh, let's pop in. Right. So I'm using this beautiful ribbon. This comes in a trio pack with that one, that one and this one. So you get these in a trio pack, just beautiful. So, um, so I was that's why I was, the DSP depended on which um, which colours I add. So, uh, yeah. So I thought, oh, that purple posy is just beautiful. It reminds me of that um, that one we had with uh, petal pink, I think it was. Now I cut about twelve inches of this. I'm going to use my oops. Crash bang wallet. I'm going to use my sharp scissors. So I like to use on a ribbon. And um, what's happened to the piece of ribbon? It's just fallen on the floor. Do you know, some days it's a disaster. So I'll just feed that through the hole. I just think this is ingenious. Absolutely ingenious. There we go. I've had swaps like this before and just looked at it and thought oh clever and never done anything about it but I decided this one that I was going to work out how to do it there 
we go. And then, let me check which is the front. Yeah, so then you take your chocolate bar and you push it down. And it pushes the ribbon down with it. There we go. And then when you pull, pulls it up. How cool is that? And then another bit of ribbon to um, to tie it off. And what I'm using is the white seam binding ribbon. And I have used the lightest Highland Heather blend. And it's it's a nice it's a nice slightly darker shade of um, purple posy. And um, so it's um, it's really nice. I was having a bit of a battle there. You might have heard. So there we go. And then we're just going to tie a little bow around here. Get them even. This is where it could potentially go peat tong. that round so I'm doing my knot in 90 degrees to how I want my bow to fall there's a little bit I'm going to pull back Pull back my loops, pull them again. Faff, 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 until we get it right. Pull. Bit more. So that'll do. No, I want a bit smaller. I've got more tail on this side than that side, but I'm not undoing it. I'll just snip it and make it slightly smaller. That will do lovely. Right, let's. Like so. Right, so I want. That's going that way, that's going to go that way. Oh, I might take a little bit off that. There we go. Take a bit off that. There we are, so that's that's that. And then we just need uh, a little greeting. And um, what I'm using for the greeting is this lovely set. Oh, that's backwards. This lovely set here, the Four Season Floral. This is in the beginner's brochure, um, which um, has got a couple of stamp sets in there that aren't in the main uh, catalogue. And uh, I really like that little thank you. I mean, I love all of these um, sayings and these lovely little flowers. I thought, well, we've got Christmas there, haven't we? We've got some nice sort of spring, summer and autumn um, sort of um, flowers. That's why it's the, the four seasons. Um, so, yeah, and it was that stamp that I used to stamp over this, this bit here. I just stamped over and over again. I used some washi tape to mask off. So that was even more frugal um, that I didn't even do it sort of two layered. Um, but just using the thank you this time on this bit here. I need to cut these edges of bevelled. I'm just going to get a little bit of scrap paper because what I'm going to do is obviously we don't have purple posy um, stamp pad. I mean, I do, but. They discontinued them because they had problems with the pigments. But if you stamp off Highland Heather, then it's actually really good. It's a really good substitute for um, Purple Posy. So this is a three quarter inch strip that I'm using there. Lovely. See, perfect, isn't it? Um, 
that I'm using to go in my lovely picker pick a label punch and it is a very small strip and it will get lost so I've got my um, little arms here so I've got my three quarter inch and where's me one inch that must be on my desk I'm going to need me one inch in a sec must have left it on my desk because I was using it I'll get that in a sec so what we want to do is put a little bit a little bit I might just leave that off to be fair a little bit of this on there I'm gonna take off some of the sticky and then what I do is I put it on these are window sheets that I've cut to the different widths so that it can go in here and it won't get lost and then I can have a look at that end center it make sure the shoulders are in the right place bang done and then peels it off we need to put a bit more now on the other end Put that on there, feed it down, and there we have it. And that's that's our sentiment, and then. We need the inch strip to do the same with the other. We're all right for the first one. Because I can, but I need to trim that down. So I've got my little guillotine and what I want to do is, what I do is I look at it and I want to, that's about an eighth, and then I want an eighth um, off it. So we want that to be a further quarter of an inch. So let's do the measure there for, so we want extra quarter of an inch. So that's one inch to there and three quarters. So we want this to be one and three quarters. So we'll put this at one and three quarters. That right. Yeah, an eight's gonna come off. That should be that should be perfect. So what I need is my one inch one of them. You didn't have to look far. It was on my desk like I thought. So put a bit of this at that end. Stick it on there. And then stick this in there. Stick it a bit better. should marry on there quite nicely yep happy about that just gonna iron out those ends there we go and then we'll use a bit of I want some wig ledge To stick it in the right place. Uh, 
and then to stick it on there I'm going to use some dimensionals put them back in my little storage ready for use and get my dimensionals there we go And then these will be sent out with a nice card to say thank you for shopping with me in June. So anybody that shops with me gets a little handmade thank you gift like this. And if they've used my host code, probably would have preferred that up a bit. Can I move it? Yeah. Um, if they've used my host code, they'll also get a share of some free product as well yeah. and then just to finish off I'll put a couple of pearls on so I've used the light Highland Heather um, again to um, colour these pearls and then I'm going to stick them on Just to finish it off, like so. Push that down a little tad. Get it in the place I want it. There we go. Oh, for goodness sake, Jez. There we are. So there we have it. That's them finished. So we've got terracotta tile, purple posy, Flirty Flamingo, another terracotta tile with hand stamping and then the retired Grapefruit Grove, which I say I know that they are favourites of um, two of my customers. So I thought oh, I'd make it in that and then they've got some ribbon to use afterwards um, as well. OK, hope you enjoyed that. If you would like to receive a nice handmade gift, then um, do shop with me. Um, links to my shop are down below. Don't forget to use the host code and you'll get a, a, a free product gift as well and um, yeah I look forward to seeing you again please like and subscribe and um, go and check out my blog okay and don't forget to check out Corrie Papercraft as well and see what Karen has to offer she mainly does um, nearly always actually um, does um, 3d projects and she does amazing things so go and watch and she's got a beautiful Scottish accent so I could listen to her all day okay bye for now